Welcome to this quick CAM tutorial on extended rules handling. This is designed to be a brief introduction to this topic. Disclaimer notice and obligatory uh, safe harbor statement here. So the tutorial overview uh, introduces the use case and the NEEM example shows the CAM validation engine uh, working, dissects the XPath rule being used, shows you how to operate the XPath rule entry wizard, and then provides a summary and review. Welcome. What we're going to show you here uh, today is using more advanced rules. You can see here what we have is a uh, facility management template and uh, typical rules where you're restricting values to particular uh, codes um, or numbers or dates. Um, and you can see if we click on this rule here, it opens in the wizard. And you can see we're restricting values there and so on. So. What we want to do in this case, and this is a um, Kobe building project for smart bu uh, buildings of the future. And so what they want to do is be able to check to see if something's labeled as a window, um, if it only occupies one space uh, within this CAD CAM export uh, of the building description. So we have our template set up. What we're going to do is run it and pick a sample uh, file that contains uh, space definitions for, uh, in this case, a clinic. It's a half megabyte file. Click Finish, and we're going to run the validation now against that. And you can see one error has been listed in the console log that only one space is allowed for a window asset. And then if we click on the run results, it's actually going to show us in here the position uh, within that XML instance that that error occurred. And if I click on that node, it shows me the rule up here. And if I look down here, I can see the asset space assignments do indeed have two space assignments. And if I click on here, this rule now, you can see we're using the print message rule to put out the message that we want. Uh, we have the XPath definition here uh, that locates the actual element that this applies to. And then we've checked here to make this conditional. And then we've put this uh, error message, uh, sorry, this condition here, which causes the error message to come out. So we're saying if the external entity name, uh, and these are all XPath rules, so if this, this is an attribute external entity name of asset, if it's equal to window, and the count of the asset space assignments um, is a space assignment within space assignments uh, is greater than one, then this will return true, and you'll see the error message. Uh, and we've just annotated this as well uh, here, uh, just to make it a little clearer with a comment. So that's uh, showing you the technique here. And uh, I also want to just quickly show you that you can build these conditions using the condition wizard. So uh, you can see we have the structure uh, navigation over here with the asset and the asset uh, um, uh, entity name and then the assignment. So we can see these are the space assignments are children of uh, this asset node. And so that's reflected in this XPath. But how do we find that out? So if I just uh, remove this for a second, and as soon as I start typing a dot, this is going to show me the XPath context of where I'm at. And 
then I, I type a slash so then it shows me the context of there so this is the external name and then I can put in that value C um, C window um, now in actual fact I can remove this portion of the X path because the dot is relative to this uh, portion so that correctly locates this the wizard however is just making it uh, uh, possible for you to navigate the structure so now I need to check and dot slash uh, asset again and this time we want the asset space assignments and within that we want space assignment so again we can remove this so we've got the relative path correct and we want to make sure that the count of those is greater than one and then we need the closing parentheses for the opening uh, parentheses here otherwise we're going to see an error um, so that's basically how you can construct uh, error messages um, and validation checks using the uh, XPath wizard uh, and rule wizard that we have built in here and so if we save that uh, clear the console and rerun it we should get the same error again and we do indeed so um, this is just showing you how you can interactively build rules and uh, test these uh, using the edit facilities okay uh, that's the end of this short tutorial thank you